All right. Let's hope to God this works. Um, it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. You can see some movement though. Then I'll believe it. Currently, I'm not seeing that on one of these screens. I'm seeing it on the other one though. Uh, for anyone who's curious, I'm trying out the uh, the new layout now because it's practically forcing me to. So, I'm hoping that this is all going to go according to plan because I'm still not used to how this all works. And the fact I gotta press go live on Streamlabs and I gotta press another go live button on YouTube to officially go live. And I gotta fill in all this other stuff. I don't put tags in anymore. It feels like, oh, this is just, just weird. A bunch of weird stuff. But anyway, um, that's all out of the way. Hello, everybody. Welcome to tonight's stream. Hope you're all doing fine. Um, <laughs> we're here now. I know it's been a while. I apologize for that. This is, God, this is like the second week in a row that I haven't done the Sunday stream. Just because I've had so much stuff going on. Whether it be uh, personal stuff or whether it would just be that I've been super busy and just not around to do this. Um, but we're finally back. In time for Swords and Sandals Crusader Redux to come out, I believe on the 7th of October. Or it might be the 9th, one of those two. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I want to say it comes out on the Friday, because that feels like the logical sort of date to do. The end of the week, before the weekend begins. So that would be the 9th, technically. So, anyway, it's either the 7th or the 9th, one of those two. And obviously, for anyone who's not familiar with what we've been doing, and why we've been doing it, uh, we've obviously been doing these streams because we've been getting ourselves prepared for Sword and Sandals Crusader Redux, uh, which is why we've been playing, firstly, Sword and Sandals Crusader, the original one. Also, this game feels a bit loud. Let me just turn it out a bit. Well, to me, it feels loud. Again, if anyone's in the chat, please do let me know if it's too loud or not. Uh, that would be great. But yeah, so we start off with Sword and Sandals Crusader. Um, it's just got to play through the game. That's obviously the one being remade. So that's probably like the most accurate one to look at uh, regarding how this new one's going to turn out. But then we're also playing Sword and Sandals Pirates right now, which is the sort of the other Crusader style game. One that takes a very drastic approach to it, like a much different one, but still uses the same Crusader engine of sort for the, the army combat. So I think this is a nice way to look at it. Like one of them's the original piece which had a lot more going on back then, obviously had a lot more problems as well, being an old Flash game. And now we've got like a sort of newer look on the Crusader formula, which is supposedly going to be used to around the same extent of um, in the Crusader Redux. So this is it's good to get an idea of both of these, I think. Let's see how it goes. Uh, also, before we go any further, um, I haven't got it on the screen yet for YouTube streams, so I'll go to my other screen quickly. Uh, just to remind everybody, this is obviously a PG-13 stream. So expect me, don't worry about artistic nudity, that has not been happening yet. Uh, but obviously expect me to say some swear words and stuff, things that aren't suitable for children. Me say words like ass, bloody crap, piss, all that kind of stuff. I'm um, obviously just doing this just to make sure YouTube doesn't have a go at me, because YouTube obviously is still very inconsistent regarding what it hits and what it chooses not to hit with all this uh, child-friendly content. So I'm specifying for the record this is not child-friendly, so please be warned about that. Uh, but now about that out of the way. I'm going to jump back into Sword and Sandals Pirates. I think I've, I've already made my tweet, just to remind everybody we're doing this, in case anyone wants to jump in. And we're all good. I probably need a drink, actually. I'm a bit thirsty. Alright. Ah, good quality hydration. Alright. So. We've got 19 days until the end. I forgot I got quite a while through this, actually. Um, I imagine this is probably not going to take the entire video, which... I don't know what to do about that yet. I don't know if I'll end it earlier or maybe do, like, a shorter game to make up for it. I'm about to... Had to think about that, but... Currently 6th place in the Four Oceans War. I think we've got some really good factions, including this island that still hasn't rendered two weeks later. <laughs> which I find hilarious. Uh, we've got a lot of gold coming in, which is awesome. Uh, so now we just need to start upgrading our troops, I think. Uh, which we've almost done. We've upgraded the range troops and light troops to full. Which are practically the main ones I use. I never really bother with heavy troops on this because I find that light troops and range troops are perfectly fine against, um, uh, what are they called? Sentinels. Yes, Sentinels. So, 
think we've got a full crew as well. So the next thing to work on is going to be to improve, 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 improve the crew crew to yes, uh, which requires eighteen thousand for that one. Sorry, let's turn my phone off. Stop those notifications going through. So we're going to be upgrading the crew quarters as much as we can to get as many crew members as possible. And then we're going to try and get those ocean hearts. Um, again, we've got a pretty good amount of settlements going. Most of this is owned by myself and have fort walls, so they can't be stolen back. Even though that like rarely happens. And I really wish the um, I really wish the air was a bit more pushy with all this. This kind of suck that they don't redo really it that often. Because you, you know you do it anyways, because obviously you get the comfort knowing that your thing will most likely never be stolen for one. Uh, but also that um, it gets you more gold as well, because it's another it's like it's another form of building to have on your island technically. So you kind of do that as well. Right. So have I built my friendship with the tribe? I don't think I have. Except. Okay, now we have. So, I can either enter port, talk again, or fight Sentinel. I think you can only do it once. I'm going to make sure I'm in the best position possible before we do that. To not risk any loss of it. Because if I lose that, I'm probably not going to win. We could just buy some more buildings to keep the money going. Seems like a good idea. So, regarding um, when I come around to doing Crusader Redux. Um, I've got some stuff to talk about at the end of the, end of the stream, so in case you guys want to see that, definitely do stick around for that, because I've got a lot of stuff to talk about in this month. So, yeah. Got some extra pay. Another glorious day, on the Another glorious day in this barren blast. And... <laughs> God, that was like the war cry. Alright. More crew quarters. So now we can hire up to 60 sailors. Ooh, can we now? Can we? No, that's 43. Game, you lied to me. <laughs> I can't hire that much. Uh, they're all hungry though. Okay. How many do I have? I have 18 of each. So, do, 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 do. There we go. Got 21 of both. Uh, they need some food. So, that's not. Oh, hang on. I guess the market would work too. And. Tavern? Welcome. Right, let's give them a grand banquet. And I think we're good for that one. Okay. Oh god, don't don't go oh, don't go to the squid. Oh god. Oh I would probably kill myself before I go against the squid. To be fair, that would kill me as well, so it kind of kinda of doesn't work either way, but uh, I don't know, dude. I really wish the the ocean battles were a bit more fleshed out, I guess. Because the problem with them, for anyone who's like new to this series and doesn't know why I don't go for the squids, because they do also give me the collectible I need, um, it's because the battle with them is just really unfair. Like, the ship combat is not properly catered to be balanced, is the issue. I also can't catch up with him because he's too quick. Okay, I guess I'm going over here then for the night. Because, like, with the army combat, um, your troops are like the only thing to worry about. When you lose all your troops, or you die in the worst case scenario, but you've also got to put yourself in danger for that to happen, um, you obviously you lose then. If you lose all your troops, you're gone for. The problem with the the problem with the ship, however, is that you can lose to either your hull being destroyed or your crew being killed. I want those two. And the problem is that your crew number is really, really small. Like, incredibly small, to the point that your frigging crew could be one-shot by a sea monster in most situations. And, like, there is no effective way to deal, like, consistent damage to those guys. So, you're practically... You're practically put in a really tricky spot, regardless. So, your best bet is to go for Sentinels, because you have a much better chance of winning at them. You actually can win at them, I guess is the better idea. Um, but any other case, no, it's just... It is not worth it. Whatsoever. Uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, again, especially since the game doesn't properly tell you about them as well. I had to figure it out on my own when initially playing it. Ooh. Ooh, that's, uh, that's a little temple over there. 
where I could get myself some more ocean hearts. I really do need to start making a move though. Um, so maybe I need to find even more way to make money. I think I'm practically doing everything I can at the moment. So I really <laughs> I don't think I can push myself anymore in this situation. I've really got to just start pushing for sentinels. Because if I don't do that, I'm not going to have enough probably. And it's weird because like, even when I look at my stats, uh, leaders. you got me down here. I've got like freaking triple the amount of islands that anyone else has and my gold is a little bit lower sure i don't know how the hell they get all this gold but they do um but like oh okay maybe it's because these guys have ocean hearts somehow uh i don't know how they get them as well freaking i've got to go through all this work to find sentinels and kill the sentinels to get the ocean hearts these guys just feel like they just find them like freaking sweets on halloween they're just giving them it, it pisses me off it does it does oh um, market? Okay, I can make a market, thank Christ. Okay, market, uh, Fort Wolves. I do not have enough materials. I can get enough materials, though. I think. Okay. Build Fort Wolves so they can't steal it. This looks so weird, though, I swear to God. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've just got to build some walls around my fort that doesn't exist yet. Oh, mate, it looks beautiful. Alright. Uh, maybe I can go on an adventure. Beneath the surface, a short hike through beautiful sun-dappled hills and olive groves has led you to the ruins of what once would have been a magnificent villa. Cracked statues and broken sandstone hit on an earlier earthquake of some kind, but on the villa's many courtyards, you miraculously, you miraculously you find a circular pool filled with still clear water. I don't think that's how English works. You can't be sure, but you think you see the sparkle of some gold at the bottom of the pool. I'm going to dive in and retrieve the golden object. Would you like to go and I will even pray to Sul. Yes. Huzzah! Huzzah! Ooh! You dive into the cool, clear waters of the pool. Kicking your legs down, you make a grasp for the golden item lying on the floor and resurface. Examining it more closely, it seems you found a rare golden ring. You feel a strange kinship with it. You pocket, you pocket it for safekeeping. Studying it later, you discover the words to a powerful spell are enchanted within. The power to control the winds is now within your grasp. I guess we've got a uh, gale force from that. And a strange ring. Not it always goes well. It always goes well. You can always trust the golden ring. Not crazy whatsoever. Alright. Also, where the hell did the music go? Yeah, the music's just literally gone. <laughs> Oops. Music just did not want to be here anymore. There you go, there's the music. Okay. Still sick plays. <laughs> okay. Sorry, it still gets me. I don't know why. It's just so stupid. Good morning, man. <laughs> okay. Um, what gets me building materials, if anything? I guess the wood? Uh, that is technically materials. How about ore? Nothing. All right. Um, I need to build my friendship with the tribe as well. How how do I get out of this game? Can I not? Game. Hello. No, I've got pressed done. Okay, that was, that was my fault. Alright, I thought I was stuck then for some reason. Uh, right. Visit tribe. Accept deal. Talk again. Accept deal. We're now worshipped and we're now ready to fight the, uh, the Sentinel. Which is good. Um, the crew hate me right now and they're hungry, so I've probably got to sort that out. So, I'll plead, yes. Oh god, oh god, how do I spells? Use harf. Take me back home, country road. Alright. Hmm. How much do I need for next crew quarters? Okay, I should have enough by tomorrow, I think. Which which is now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
I forgot how quickly the days go for some reason. Alright. Um, round of... No, let's go for the extra day's pay. Keep me happy without killing anybody. If I can't get many ocean hearts, I've got to at least lower the chances I have of losing them for doing stupid stuff. At least. If I can do that, I'll be fine. Uh, okay. Shipyard. More. With extra bunks and hammocks in your ship, you can now hire up to 60 sailors. I can't, though, is the thing. I can't. I can have, like... I can have 43 at the moment, dude. You're lying to me. Oh, you can have so many of them. Yeah. Jack. Jack, mate. I can't have Jack. Ugh, oh, Christ. Alright. Um, let's see. Oh, I can have 49. Perfect. So that gives me, including myself, that gives me 50 in total. Okay, I've got 24 of each. We could give it a shot. But uh, can I risk it is the problem. We're going to have to, gonna have to buy some food as well. Probably buy a bunch of goods, actually. If I'm, uh, if I'm out on the... If I'm out on the seven seas, I've got to make sure I can buy all the goods I need. Um, what else do I want? Do I buy any more spells? My boy, boy the spells? Can I buy mass heal? Push your foregone sandals to add to your spell. Uh, heal's crew injured in battle by one heart. I feel like in a battle against a Colossus, there's only one of two outcomes. You're alive or you're dead. I feel like there's no in between with those. Um, I need four sandals anyway, so I can't actually get that. Actually, was there any that can deal damage? Um, no. Oh, wait, is there any I already have? Oh, I already have Core cool Lightning. Oh, okay. Learn the Still Essence to convert luxury goods. Okay, I need, a, I need a spell to convert stuff into more Essence to cast more spells. Okay, game. Fair enough. Um... I uh, pretty saw their morale out too. I just realized that. So let's give them some wine. Okay. Now they shouldn't complain. Right, so where is the nearest sentinel? That isn't the one I just found. Or am I going to that one? I don't know. Oh, Draconia Church is up there with a fort and everything. I don't know where I'm going. Hang on. Uh, map? Oh, God. This is the other problem not playing this game in almost two weeks. I don't know where the hell I am and where the hell I'm going. I feel like something over here had one, didn't it? Ah! Skull Island. Oh. Oh, I didn't find an island to sleep on. Is that good or bad for me? Oh. The crew are saddened. Good. <laughs> Alright. Do I actually have... Do I have a, a good relationship with these guys over here, though? I don't know if I do. Was oh, it Jesus Christ? Why are we hungry again? Guys, I gave you a bunch of food. Or did I? I don't know, actually. Okay, we can just hurry up and please make the Skull Island. Or the crew throw me overboard. That would be great. You have no idea how happy that would make me. Oh, that would make me so happy. Thank you. Is it tribe? Get set the luxury goods. Alright, screw it. Let's fight the Sentinel and see what we get. The Great Kong, Primeape of the Islands. Alright. So this is the strategy. We essentially just use our ranged troops to keep taking pot shots to the Great Kong. And then I keep sending in my light troops to deal some damage and also take the hits. And that's basically it. That's basically how the strategy goes. Um, I can't give the Great Kong the chance to hit me. Because I think if I use a spell, uh, the Great Kong will choose one of my units to target himself. And if he goes for me, I'm basically screwed. So, I'm going to take the shots. I'm going to call in a furious attack. Which actually does a really good chunk of damage. Take more shots. Do it again. That's some really nice damage right there. 
some really good damage. Take more shots. Send in the troops again. There you go. More shots. Okay, I think we got this. Maybe I was a little overcautious. Gonna put it past me. Fire! There we go. Got it. There we go. There's our first ocean heart. An ocean heart. The main collectible, which we did bother not to tell you about. Pip, 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 pip. Truly a man very happy with my accomplishments. Oh my god, look at all these resources. This is the other thing. After you beat one of these guys, you get so many resources as well that like it becomes so much easier to just win the rest of this. I get five sandals, 10,000 gold, and 2,000 plus of every single resource. I'm basically fine now. But obviously, why stop there? Why we even stop there? I can... I could do whatever the hell I want. I could build these four walls. I could then build the fort itself. I could build uh, the tavern. I could go ahead and build the, the bank to then double my money. Even more. Arena. No one ever builds an arena. It's not very useful. <laughs> At least I don't. I completely forgot how much how much resource you get, technically speaking. I really did forget. But I forgot, you get a lot for just doing that. Okay, extra day pay. I think they deserved it. Ooh, I leveled up. I guess I get the dollar skill. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to max out this island with everything we've got. Then... Just buy the light troops we lost. Okay, all good. The ocean beckons once again. So I'm going to need at least a second ocean heart to try and catch up here. Ideally free, if I can. Oh, I just need some drinks. <laughs> Both me in-game and real life. <laughs> Part's feeling a bit parched. Got to drink some more of this water. Alright, so it's cast half. Go right back to the start. Alright, so that's one. I could have swore I found another one though as well, but I can't remember where in the bleeding hell it is. I think all we had to do I had to start heading over to what's its face? Can I cast Gale Force? No, I need do I need twenty five essence. Yeah, I need I need all twenty-five. Well, oh, that ain't happening then. Alright. So let's head back to where is it? Oh god. Oh, that's actually a four. Ooh. You know what? We could take a quick detour. I wouldn't mind that. Go pay the Iron Republic a visit. I don't think it's really helpful to us at this point, but I guess going for an extra fort with fort walls is always a bonus. Especially if it throws the enemy more out of um, their empires. And takes a good province from them too. Come on. Lay siege. She has literally nothing. All right, middle wall. High art, go. Yes. What was my strategy? Did I go for left wall first? Or... Actually, do I get? Did it... oh, did I get gold for this? I can't remember. I do get gold for it. Yeah, not much, but it does also lower the damage I take in return, which obviously gives me some better chance there as well. I guess I'll keep going for that. If the game wants to let me hit them. So I slowly lose my battalion. Okay. And now, middle wall, go! <gasps> Damn it. Come 
one any day, any day now. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's, mate, it's right in front of you. You could probably walk up to it now and get a really close shot. Considering the fact they don't really have anything left to fire back at you. Alright. Oh, shoot the cat then. There she goes. Oh, I forgot to shoot there. Damn it, I completely forgot to shoot theirs. Okay, cautious attack. With my many men. Now I'll go for their ranged troops so they can't fire back. Okay, and then cautious attack with the light troops. Take out the heavy. There you go. Good show. Good show. Okay. Hmm. We're getting more than 10,000 gold a day now, which is really nice. Uh, I think I sing a sea shanty. And I'm fully leveled up. Not that half of those upgrades really did much, because I did not take stick to any of those playstyles. Uh, oh god, also I just realized this white border is showing up again. The game does have a lot of graphical issues, it's kind of weird. Alright, build a bank. How long does this take me as well to do each of these actions? About an hour for each. Which, if anything, is pretty impressive. To, cra to craft an entire mage tower, or a tavern, in an hour's time. Pretty, pretty good, to be fair. Pretty impressive. Travesty. Oh. She claimed to run the obsidian and claimed it for the Sharpsdale Trading Co. Make sure the build fort was next time. This iron brought in 200 gold. Okay. It wasn't a big one. That's the, that's the, the most important thing here. Nothing of significant value was lost. Can I upgrade my thing a bit further? Where is it? Shipyard. 32,000. Okay. If I wait a turn, I could do that. Why to do that? Uh, I think we just need to start pushing again, so... Oh. Oh. I'm out of sailors. Can I not get any... No, I can't at all. Alright, I guess we'll head up to the island now. In fact, I'm gonna cast Gale Force to do it even faster. What are these islands now? I've just realized. Okay. Uh, where is the one I need? Oh, there it is, down to my right. How long does Gale Force last? Does it feel like too long? It's gonna be nighttime fully by the time I get there. I like okay, I love Pleiades. There you go. Oh. Oh, guess I'm camping here then tonight. The world goes quiet and still. The world goes quiet and still. Around a grog. <laughs> Another glorious day on the sparkling blue ocean. Oh! Oh, um Do I want to lay siege? Yeah, you know what? I just realized something too. I have all those treasures I could probably just sell. So that way I could upgrade my shipyard even sooner. Yeah, okay. Uh, sure. Go for the towers first. And bloody miss, like always. Holy Christ. I haven't checked yet, but I wonder if this mini game is back in Crusader Redux. It would make sense for it to be. But I have no idea on that one, unfortunately. Alright. There's one shot. And another shot. Thank you. And low arc. There we go. Charge! Don't let those buggers take our land! Alright. <laughs> to be fair, I say that, but we're taking their land, so it's completely the other way around. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot which side I'm on here. Alright. Send in light troops for the cautious attack. Cut them down. Oh, the music's gone again. It's weirdly ominous when there's no music. A bit, bit freaky, actually. There you go. Very good. Very good. Yes. Alright. 
Oh, I still have Gale Force active, but it's also lowering as I'm doing nothing. Oh, Christ. Uh, uh, bank. I need a bank and a shipyard in order to get my upgrades. We ate potatoes. Very good idea. Um, okay, go to the market. Sell, like, most of our luxury goods. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look how much money I'm making. Woo, boy. And I don't think I need to... I think I've already built up my reputation with the tribe, so I don't have to worry about not having luxury goods to give them. Oh, my Christ. I, I don't... I don't think I'm allowed to have this much money. I don't think it's fair that I can have this much money. By just beating one Sentinel, which the game very heavily encourages you to do, otherwise you won't win. So, yeah. Let's get a crew quarters. Get another one, sure. Alright, we're fully maxed out. Alright. Uh, okay. So now, we can fully max out both sides. Oh, I have 30 troops on both of them. I wonder what, like, a full group of 60 would look like. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen that. That would look magical. Alright. Down to Isle of Pleiades. Time to get me another ocean. How the hell am I in sixth place? What the hell have people been doing? Uh, only three of us got ocean hearts. And yet, I'm sick for now. The scoring system is just, I don't know, I don't know what depicts it. Like, these people have less sandals than me, and no ocean heart, yet their gold is significantly higher, and that gives them a higher overall score, the gold itself? I don't, <laughs> I just don't really know what I'm going for in this game sometimes. The ocean hearts are easily the biggest thing, but it's like, the game still seems to be like, oh, if you've got like 100,000 gold, that's better than ocean heart. I don't know. Um, visit tribe... Set deal. Fight the sentinel. Here we go. It is the old man emu. The great prehistoric bird. Alright. Let's see these troops. Oh my god. There are so many of them. The emu sounds horrifying. Shoot! And send in the light troops to do a bunch of damage. Holy crap. That is a lot. Oh. The only thing is, if I actually send in my captain, I know I'm just screwed, so I gotta be really cautious when I press these buttons. I'll make sure I don't click the first button I see. What's that? Morale's broken, but it shouldn't be. We're losing a bunch of people, sure, but we're against a friggin' emu! The foulest of birds. There you go. And there's our second ocean heart. Found an ocean heart. Yay! Hurrah! Hurrah! Yes. Bunch of units and some more gold and sandals. Okay. What place am I in now? I'm in third again. Christ. Um, I guess I will build the the typical. Actually, do I? Why do I want to do that? I don't need to anymore. I could just start stockpiling gold. I will buy some more troops though. That is for certain. That is for certain. I will be requiring more troops. Night falls and the world goes Maybe I should... Hmm. Pabby really wants to see an entire platoon of 60 light troops. <laughs> I'm not... I'm going to be entirely honest. I would love to see that. But... I don't know if there's anything I can do to like... Oh. Got a bonus card. Okay, that's nice. That is very, very nice indeed. Alright. So I think at this rate, we literally just keep looking for more of these uh, frigging pyramids to try and win this. Can I pause the game? I don't think I can, can I? No, I've just got to like look around and hope my character doesn't get into any trouble. Cauldron Bay, nothing there. Laura Terry? Oh, Laura Terrier. I don't think I've tried that one. Seize that island, why not? <laughs> Accidentally bumped into an island there by the Pope Republic, but okay, doesn't matter. Where is it again? 
Cauldron Bay. Oh god, crew are mutinous. Why are the crew mutinous? Get him on this island quickly! Quickly, let's, let's sail to this island to seize it to then start constructing ourselves a fort. <laughs> I gotta like steal someone else's island to build my crew a tavern to get them a drink to make them feel happier about themselves and to not want to kill me. This is the world we live in. Alright, um. I'll build a bank as well. I guess at this point I'll just build banks and stuff to get as most money. As most money, as much money as possible. Okay. Now, head down there, please. To. Freaking, where is it? Moritaria. And I'll also use Gale Force. I get a bit quicker. Do if it be enough. But we'll get close. Come on, Heath House. Make it, make it there before, before night time. You've got two hours. You can do it. You can do it before you fall asleep at the wheel. Go on. Go on. Oh, he's not going to make it. Oh, no, he's moving. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <sighs> okay, let's begin the new day. Never gonna need to bother much of this anymore. Don't get you get away from my island, I Republic. Am I using Gale Force? It does not feel like I'm going faster. It feels like I'm going just as slow. All right, visit tribe, set deal, and fight Sentinel. Let's go. The Lapis Devastatum. Stoic Guardian, okay. I've never seen some of these before, so... Just pay me to come back to this game and see what else I may have missed. Alright. Furious attack! Shoot! Furious attack. Oh my god, we're destroying this one. Maybe the power of money is winning me through this fight. There you go. Another ocean heart. Alright. More more stuff that makes me almost invincible. Now I'm in first place apparently. Yay! Okay, cool. So we've turned this around now. Really help to catch ourselves back up and into the lead. I just need to find myself even more pyramids now. <gasps> it's one there. Let's go. It's owned by the Kingdom... Is that Kingdom Fator? I think it's the Kingdom Fator. Going in the right direction? I think so, yeah. Okay. Oh. So yeah, that's my strategy on this. Uh, just very simply, take it slowly, work your way up, and then just win at the end so yeah simple as that very simple <laughs> all right I'm just gonna check my audio quickly make sure it's all right simple as that Hang on. all right just gonna check my audio quickly make sure it's all right sounds like i'm okay sounds like i'm fine Serviceable, I guess. Alright, seize. And now we sleep. I am tired. Oh, woo! Yay! Let's build forts and the, the bank and the money. Get all that going. Uh, oh, and I actually need a fort to get some more troops. Okay, um... Let's find a tavern too, so I can increase their morale. Why don't you do that after the fight, though? We want to make sure that the morale is... Well, to be fair, logically speaking, if I were to send a platoon of troops into battle, I would probably want their morale to be higher before going in. 
But I don't think morale has much of an effect in this game, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's quite fine to let them be alright. Yes, yeah, so I need to make sure I do it twice. I was just double checking to see if I actually was doing this a bit wrong. The Elix, the Harpy Queen. Alright. <laughs> it's a bird! Shoot it! Shoot it! Alright. <sighs> this is all pretty simple stuff from here. We just keep sending the light troops, going for the strongest attack possible while we may lose a bunch. Take pot shots in between. And that's our strategy for this. We just keep sending them in as they slowly whittle down their health. Yay! We did it. That was our fourth one, wasn't it? Alas, our fourth ocean heart. Heart. Wonders. Wonders. Even more riches beyond my imagine my wildest imagination. Okay, now I'm going to celebrate with a drink. Oh Christ. Alright. I can't like sell units back, can I? <laughs> I can't unfortunately. I'm gonna, like sell some of these guys back. Um, unless I send them to death in another battle. <laughs> but then again, no, I don't want to do that either because, um, obviously if I do that, then I will lose an ocean heart most likely for losing the most members of my team, which gives me like a like an obsidian heart or whatever it's called. Uh, any other? Any other pyramids around I could seize control of and get my ocean hearts? Ooh. Ooh, there's one. Okay, I guess we're going in that direction now to the Dracondia Church. I'm going to seize that one, take it under our control. Bada bim, bada boom. You grow more powerful. Grow more powerful. All right. Another glorious day on the sparkling blue ocean. Let's use Gale Force. Try to speed ourselves up as much as possible. We've got eight days left. And we're still in first place. And let me check the leaderboards again, actually, just to see what I'm panning up against. Okay. So my gold is starting to get much higher, which is great. Getting a lot of sandals, four ocean hearts, and most islands. Okay. So I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty well. Alright. Let's, head, let's keep heading back in this direction. It honestly looks like it's frozen, looking at this. I mean, I guess it's the ocean, so there's not very much you can expect from it, but I feel like if you couldn't see that sailor spinning around, you would probably think my screen had frozen. Uh, I still do like the visual, though. Something about seeing the ocean is just always relaxing to me. I can't tell that's like a personal thing. I'm sure they'll be here eventually. Doo. I've actually never heard the soundtrack this far out. Probably because before I know it, I'm in like um I'm in a bay or something, buying something. Let's get a moment to listen to it, which is quite nice. And honestly, it's really good. If there's one thing I can't fault this game for, it's that the soundtrack is really, really nice. Kind of sounds a bit spacey though, actually, looking, listening more into it. Alright, Seas Island. Gonna build... Uh, what do I need to build? Probably build a bank, I guess. Go to sleep. <laughs> In my last moments of today, I shall construct myself a bank. Oh, this is the most important thing. Not a tavern, not a not a fortress. Nah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna seize a new island. The first thing we do is buy a bank on it, because that is the the greatest of ideas. 
perfect idea. Wait, what? Oh, wait, because I can't use the bank. Okay, I, was, I was like, why is there no bank there? But I remember that. Oh, it's actually because I can't physically use the bank. It merely exists in this universe I am a part of. I can basically do whatever the hell I want to at this point. It's like I'm playing a creative mode of this. I can just... I can buy and build whatever the hell I want, and there is no single person that could tell me otherwise. Okay, Zel Haquel, Lost Exotic Deity. Sounds like a robot, though. <laughs> oh my god, that damage. Oh, crash almighty, the damage. The freaking damage, mate. Do, 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 do. Alright. One more shot. Yay, we did it. Okay, much simpler. Alright, so that's Ocean Heart number five. Ocean Heart. Combo number five. First rate. You have won the battle. <laughs> oh, I can't start singing. Copyright reasons, obviously. Um, Alright, let's celebrate with uh, firstly constructing a tap and then drinking it. <laughs> I just love how love how it's like that. It's just like, yeah, yes, men, we shall celebrate by making a tavern and then drinking from it. A yes! Ho! Oh! Whatever the battle cry is for us. It's a bunch of noise. Alright. Would there be any more? Any more around here for me to find and to seize for my own? Uh, can I go? Am I going higher? I think that's the extent of the map. Yeah, the game wasn't telling me, but I think that was the extent of the map. Um, if I get enough of a lead, I want to kind of showcase what I mean by some of these sea battles. Because I'm sure some people probably want me to try one. I think. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's watching this. But I feel like, can I get my point across? It would be really, really good to show. Because there just isn't enough like things to do in a ship battle to give yourself enough ways to like effectively do it i have never seen a single soul take on one of those battles and win but then again i haven't really like looked at people's let's plays but even then like i just i've played this game a lot when this game came out i honestly couldn't stop playing it for a while. i generally really really enjoyed it but i think it was after i kept playing it a bunch the cracks really started to show a little bit unfortunately Like, it's still full of great ideas, it's just that there are some things about it which are just kind of... They don't work, essentially. Did I already get Om Nom Shiva? Uh, I can't tell. Have I already... I assume I've already visited Om Nom Shiva, but I don't know if there's much else I can do at the moment. I think I just want to drag the timer out at this point. I say drag out, more, more like I want to drag it to a halt, because I I don't think there's much else I can do in this current situation. I think I've, from the looks of it, it feels like I found most of the, the Sentinels. And it's weird, because I've only explored, apparently, like, 29% of the map. 24.43% of the map. It feels like I've gone everywhere. Oh, Christ. I'm getting so many resources, they're going past the borders. <laughs> oh boy, that's a good sign. Yay, uh, can, can I do this again? I've already done I'm pretty sure I've already done this one. I've already standing sent on this island, look for other islands with pyramids. I don't think they exist, game, I'm afraid. I think we may have, ex like, we may have exterminated every single one. Isle of Pleiades, I've done that. Like, that's the border, isn't it? I can't I can't go any further than those. I'm, like, literally at the furthest to the east I can be at the moment, and currently furthest to the south, I think. No, yeah, I've gone too far. I can't go any further. Uh, I keep trying to go east, apparently. I don't even know where I'm going at this rate. Um, I think... 
I, I generally feel that I have experienced... <laughs> oh, hello. You want to fight, do you? Yeah. Anything to save me from the cursed realm that is the goddamn corner of the world. All right, let's okay. Let's attack. Actually, let's let's get the the ship combat going. Argalax looks like he actually has a good battalion. He's not got as much crew, but he's got a lot of hull. Full lightning. I did not expect now to do that much damage. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? Alright, you gotta hear me out here. I was just on about how, like, going for the crew is the best thing to do because there are, like, you have such a small number of crew and crafts and how much hull you can have. That guy still had a hundred hull and that spell one shot him. Oh my Christ. Oh god, the ship combat feels so unbalanced. If that didn't work, all I would have done is I would have got close to him and then probably shot a cannon at his crew and then they just would have killed him all immediately and that would have would have won me the game then. But no, apparently I could just use my lightning spell and that's enough. Alright, uh, you know, I'm just going to... I can't use harp anymore. I was going to teleport back home, but obviously now I've had to kill Arkalax in brutal fashion. So I think at this point, we're just gonna... Extra day's pay... I don't think at this point, I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna push through the other few days. Get them done as soon as possible, because honestly, I don't think... There's much else I can do. I think there's, like, only five sentinels. I couldn't see any more on the map. Maybe we do some more adventures. Mysterious Temple. You follow a swift flowing stream for a pleasant forest until you come to a temple on the river bank. You haven't seen a single soul on the island, but the temple is breathtaking, with gilded animal statues, intricate carvings, and beautiful polished wooden walls. The door to the temple is wide in, but you cannot see inside. Explore the temple. Like to go on an adventure? There you go. I'm jolly good. You set foot in the temple and feel an overwhelming sense of calm and peace. Inside the temple, you find several monks praying. They bid you sit down and meditate a while, then hand you a basket filled with delicious fruits grown right there at the temple gardens. Wishing you well, they send you on your way. So I get a bunch of food, and I essentially, for the rest of it, I paid my morale to get more morale back. Fair play. I I won't argue. I got more back. Won't complain. Uh, I don't know why I decided to research, though. Probably to try and fight the locals, I guess. No. Nope. Fine. All right. Music's gone again. I just realized. Oh Christ! It feels so spooky when there's no music. It's like you can you can hear the wind. It's only the wind. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna sell my stuff. Cause hang on, do I? I don't think I get coin. I don't think I get overall points for having my resources. So I might as well just sell my resources, right? I've really got nothing else I want to buy right now. I've just got all these resources. And that's it. Hmm. Hmm. I just had a really stupid thought. I was considering what if... What if I... Upgraded my ship to almost full, got as much hull as possible, and upgraded my cannons. Maybe attempted a sea monster. How would that work out? Hmm. God, I can't even fully upgrade it. I get close. They're not too far. All right. I don't know why I'm visiting them. Uh, okay, let's go to... Let's build a market. Oh, God, I sleep now. Damn it. Okay, so build the market. We'll sleep. And then we will... Shiver me timbers. Another glorious day on the okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to just literally sell all our resources. The, these bars 
are going to be stupidly full by the end of this. Swear to God. All right. Just going to keep selling. Oh, God. We're going to be here for a while. See if you can't just hold down the button. That will make it so much easier. But no, I've got to sit here and I've got to bore to death everybody as I slowly hit the button continuously. I don't think I have the patience for this. Okay, I'm going to go straight to luxury goods because they're the best selling ones. Oh my Christ. You know what I'm playing? I'm playing one of those click games where you just keep tapping on stuff. I can't remember what those games are called. They might just be like click games. They might literally just be a name. I don't know. But it feels like I'm playing one of those. I'm just sitting here and I'm continuously tapping a button and getting like extra resources and then tapping something else and this and that. I'm looking back on my stream and that's like all I can see. It's just that button flashing. Oh yeah, because the mouse doesn't shut, does it? Uh, or does it? It's, I think it does. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. No. So I was thinking about my, I was thinking of my recording software. That actually has the, the mouse hidden. Ooh. I think I'm just going to sell my luxuries and then I'm not going to bother selling the other, the other materials. I should have plenty of money after selling all these and also maybe retain some of my audience as well as my own sanity. <laughs> I pity anybody who walks into the stream now and is like, oh, hey, Chaos, how's it going? What's going on? Oh. Not bad, thank you. We were just playing Sword and Sandals Pirates where I'm exchanging all of my hard-earned materials from fighting big frigging sentinels so I can get loads of money to try and fight other sentinels, which these ones are massive assholes because they're the sea monsters which can kill you in like an instant regardless of what you do. So yeah, fun stuff. Oh god, my fingers are starting to hurt. <laughs> Anybody need like a, a new sort of while well, lockdown is a, is around us and we need a good exercise? Just play Sword and Sandals Pirates, keep fighting Sandals, and then just keep tapping the button to sell your resources. You will be, you'll have a jacked up hand in no time. What's there? Come on, come on, almost there. Okay. It's at the end of that SpongeBob episode where the his exercise routine comes to keep changing the channel on that remote. <laughs> Literally it. Oh Christ. I thought I am kinda of interested actually. What's the latency of my stream? I, I changed the latency with um, what it was before. So I think it's like I think it's normal setting now if I'm not mistaken. I'm just trying to I'm just curious to see how far back it went. Alright. There you go, we've maxed out those. Okay, so improves ships. Oh, it improves ships speed and turn. Oh. That's actually something I could probably consider getting in the future. Anything else make my ship look cooler? I think that makes my ship look cooler. I'm just wasting more money at that point. Alright, how fast does this go now? Jesus Christ, it goes much quicker. Oh my oh lordy, lordy, lordy. Um, I'm also gonna quickly buy some more troops which again these guys are they're not here to be used to fight things this time oh no they used to just be bodies in this situation is the only reason <gasps> I had another thought there's another idea okay so first thing I'm gonna build a mage tower now there's one spell in this game that's super useful but only works on the sea monsters for some reason doesn't work on like the pyramids, which I find bizarre, because it would be so useful to find the pyramids. I'm just going to build the rest of them for extra money. So go to Mage Tower. Um, monster Hunt. Uh, on cast, your compass will magically point to the nearest sea monster until you reach it or dock on land. We'll learn that. And, yeah, I'm going to leave. So, the idea is that we can use this to track down the sea monsters, but I don't understand... Why there isn't an option for this to find the pyramids? That will make that so much easier. Because sea monsters are much more likely, anyways. I think. So I don't get it. It's a bit weird. Okay, I'll use it now. 
We go down this direction. Oh, there he is. The big old Durgan. Okay, giant turtle dragon, ancient of Teutonia. So we have a fully maxed out ship on the sails, hull, and the cannons, especially. Let's see how this works. Let's see if I was wrong the entire time and it's actually much easier to do. I'll have to call lightning first. Okay, that actually did some damage. And he misses, that's good. 65 HP. Death. That's what I mean. That's the problem. I had a maxed out crew, yet they one-shot them immediately. That's the issue with this system. The fact your crew are so vulnerable and can die just like that, and you've done. That's the problem. And apparently it's my fault as well. 20% <laughs> of all resources have been lost. Oh no! My resources! Another glorious day on Oh no. I still got that is a much lower number, yeah. I've only oh only twenty percent of them left. I thought it was I lost twenty percent. Okay. I think I'm gonna do it this point. I'm just gonna I think, maybe just grab resources, I guess. Mm, actually, I should probably get an army first before doing this. <laughs> yeah, she gave me some subtle advice and I should get a crew first before doing this. Screw it. I'm gonna get an army of full light troops, and that's gonna be how we go out on this. If I lose it now, I'm gonna be really saddened by it, but I mean, hey, we, we had fun, didn't we? And that's what's important in the end. As long as we had fun, nothing, nothing could be lost. Oh my god, there's barely any sailors. Oh, Christ. Give me the goddamn sailors! Any more? Oh, it's, yeah, God. This is such a slow process. I just want to look at 60 troops all in the same unit. Just because I find it funny. It's the only reason. Uh, okay, I guess I'm going to seize... Oh, but this might be the one she sold from me. Ash hole. <laughs> okay, seize island. And sleep again. What if I lose here? I'm generally still a little bit nervous about that. Okay, I've got 60 light troops. Uh, let's just start gathering resources and see what on earth happens. You know, I sh maybe I should severely annoy the locals as well. That would give me an even better chance of being ambushed. Yes, yeah, screw it. Alright, uh, decline deal. Okay, now I've really annoyed him. Oh, there's a lot of them too. Oh my god. Okay, bad news. Uh, they could keep shooting my guys every round. Good news is that it looks incredibly funny. Ah! <laughs> there's only a few of them left now. For some reason they sent in the range troops to attack. Oh god, I should not have done that. But I'm glad it didn't punish me. Here's attack! Oh Christ! Cool lightning. Okay. Oh, the captain. The tribal chief, whatever you call him. Cool lightning. They didn't attack? Wait, what? I don't know that's how it's supposed to work. Here's attack! Oh Christ. Oh, this is not good. This is a really bad idea. Oh, we win. Good show. I don't think that was worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna be entirely honest. I don't think I should have done that. That was not worth it at all. I've severely annoyed the tribe, and now if I am there a gather resources, wonderful. 58% chance of ambush, and I'm also now locked into this because I selected that. Oh my 
my god. I, I am probably going to lose this now, aren't I? Because I decided to be funny. Do something for comedy purposes. I'm probably going to lose because of it. Now, let's do another one of these. Oh, the castaway. This island is home to, bur home to but one inhabitant. You spy a shipwrecked man alone under a palm tree. Uh. And me. He dances about excitedly and hails you when you set foot on the shore. His beard is long and his skin bronze and leathery from long days in the sun. He looks long, longly at your talking coconut and says, I had a friend like that once too, but he abandoned me. I miss Willison terribly. He gestures to a flat leather ball lying in the sand. Please take me with you. I must get off this island. Uh, it's, um, what was, uh, what was the, was it Castaway? I can't remember. The, the movie starring Tom Hanks. Would you like to go on Pretty sure it's referencing that. It's cute. Well, son. Well, son. <laughs> I actually remember, I think when I initially watched that, I for some reason got sad at that. I don't know why. Like I had a, a literal ball float off into the distance. A ball that had a handprint on it, and I got really sad. Oh, I don't know what I was smoking. We had the bank. Oh, I didn't realize there was a little sign that just really goes to hammer in that I'm at war with these guys, and they are not happy with me. Really goes to hammer that in, guys. Right. Tomorrow's the Pirate Council. I think, I, so just to double check, I think I might sell my resources to make sure I've got enough money. Just to make sure. Because the thing about this game is there is a reward for doing all this, but it's only if you, become, if, only if you go first place. If you don't come first, you don't get the reward. So, for the sake of giving us something to have made the journey worth it, I want to make sure we have the best chance. Which I feel like is going to be tricky to do. I generally feel like it will be difficult to make it, um, to make ourselves lose. Despite the fact we did a good job at almost doing it. I, I generally feel like we're alright. But I want to make sure. So, again, I've got to, like, cram my hand. Give it severe amounts of cramps just so I can keep tapping the button. Wait, did it click both of them, then? That's weird. <gasps> I have the power! <laughs> Alright, this actually helps. If I ever become a, a Sword and Sandals Pirate speedrunner, this is my strategy. I'm gonna do this. This might be one of the most enjoyable things I've done, fighting this little strategy. Forget everything else I talked about, like trying to help people with the game. This is the real strategy. Okay, I've lost all... I also, I just realized I sold my food, which might have not been the best idea. I don't think that was the smartest of choice. Okay, I'm gonna cast half, I'm gonna go back to my hometown, and I'm gonna... Just go, I'm gonna, like, mine for resources, don't... Thank you. Yeah, we'll make friends with the tribes, folk. Oh my god, I don't have the resources. Oh boy. I forgot, I just sold all my resources and now I can't be friends with them. Let's do some research. Kill the, kill the pig! That's a Lord of the Flies reference, I think. Kill the beast, cut its throat, spill its blood. Or does it kill the pig? One of the two. Alright. Oh, that's it. Let's begin a new day. day on, the sparkling on Sparkling Blue Ocean. On the Banner of Truce, the ten great sea captains set sail. This is some Sun Sandals 4 music, I think. Actually, I think it was using Sun Sandals 3 as well. Landing at the mysterious island of Krakenbach, they climb. <laughs> Look at they're all so chill. Everybody hates Antares, they're just like happy to be in his presence for some reason. In the Tower of Sorcery, the Pirate Council begins. Alright. The great Sorcerer Bargle will oversee proceedings. 
It is the man who has all this money and all these riches. Welcome, Captain. The oh jeez, one of them is free now. Greetings, sea captains, both noble and villainous. I declare the Four Oceans War over after 51 days. Pretty sure it's supposed to be 50, but fair play. The time has come to hand out awards. What ceremony? Alright. The first award is for the faction with the largest gold fortune. The Death Imperium. I'm sorry, what? Did I not have the most money? The captain with the highest power score. Baron Wolfgang. He was in ape! He was in ape! <laughs> Mate, I have five ocean hearts and I killed a bunch of sentinels. How the hell? How does he have a better power ranking than I do? He's done jack all! And yet you give it to him. The next award is for the highest ranking captain. Hey, you were last. Captain Most Gone Sound. It's gotta be me. Thank Christ. Alright, I get another one. The next award is for the faction with the most victories in battle. Oh Christ, they're catching up. The next award is for the captain who explored the most ocean. Probably not me. Really? I, I explored like 25% of it, but apparently that was enough. Faction in control, that's gonna be me too. Yeah. And now, penalties must be handed out to the captains who performed poorly during the campaign. The first penalty is for the captain with the most deaths. False! The tribes of Wait, really? So Jesus Christ, those booing sound effects, they really want to make you feel bad. I would have thought it was me because I've been sending all my guys off to fight Sentinels, but I, I guess Simon Honeydew lookalike down there is somehow done worse. Okay. Captain who fled the most battles, that probably wasn't me. Oh, coward. Burr. <laughs> Captains who destroyed the most native villagers. That makes plenty of sense. <laughs> I actually didn't lose one of those. Oh, cool. Yay! Wonderful. All right, we did it. I'm generally surprised I didn't lose the most troops, though. I don't know what world an AI somehow loses less than me when I'm sending them continuously to fight sentinels, but apparently uh, that was not me today. Okay. So we ended up destroying that one, which is quite funny, but... Fair play, all right, let's move on. So as reward, we get some story stuff now for the He, the, I was gonna say the He Chaos, the Legion of Hage and He Chaos. For those who questioned He Chaos' sanity before the Four Oceans War, there could be no longer any doubt. Upon returning to his capital at Edingar, he descended further and further into madness. Violent nightmares, fever dreams, and visions haunted the man, and, ma and, the, haunted the man, and for days he would only speak in rhyme. Much to the chagrin of his top advisors. Oh god, the boy. <laughs> kind of ruins it a little bit. There's just this big white space on the side. He neglected to leave any legionnaires behind to maintain his island conquest, and he was soon overthrown. The legion's presence at sea was soon as paltry as it was before the war. However, with his now vast treasure hoard of gold and jewels, he chaos was able to expand his citadel of turbulence into something vast and monstrous. A sprawling monument to himself in the shape of a giant H. He Chaos continued to recruit the delusional into the Legion with promises of gold, land, and riches. The reckless spending continued as he set up a prohibitively expensive arena on the island of Doomtrag. Just a few short years into his stint as an arena overlord, he lost control of the arena to the Emperor Antares, who enslaved the madman and forced him to fight as an arena champion. Eventually, freed by his supporters, he Chaos would take out his rage, not on Antares, but on his old childhood rivals, Wolfgang, King Lionel, Lionel, and Sir Belgrave. He Chaos and his legions would cause havoc for Brando on the Crusades, and for many a year after. He Chaos' stories continued in Sword and Sandals Crusader. Oh, okay. So some of these characters, their story continues in the new Sword and Sandals 6, which is going to be developed at some point. But He Chaos actually is to be continued in a game already played, which in that he sided with Argalax and Antar was it Antares? Yeah, it was Antares. Sided with those two. Try and bring a bunch of destruction to Brandor, and then eventually, obviously, they all decide to fight each other in the end anyways, including He Chaos, because he's an asshole, apparently. <laughs> um So yeah, that literally just like retold the whole events of Sword and Sandals 1 to Crusader besides pirates 
because uh, obviously in Sword and Sandals 1, he was the final boss. Then was overthrown by Emperor Antares, who then took over in Sword and Sandals 2. And apparently he was an arena champion in that one. I wouldn't know, unfortunately, because I haven't played that far. Then he broke free, became a ruler in Crusader, and then that's where we left off. He was also in Sword and Sandals 4, but I can't tell if that's canon to the story or not. I assume it probably is, but oh well. Okay. Ah. Oh. Thank you for playing Sword and Sandals Pirates. Congratulations on completing a game of Sword and Sandals Pirates. I truly hope you had as much fun in your adventures as I had creating them. This year was hectic. My son Isaac was born right around the start of development for the year, and the wonderful little rascal really threw my world into beautiful chaos. Sword and Sandals Pirates was first started, but stared. <laughs> first started back in 2014. It was originally called Ships in Scurvy. It was much more of a story-based adventure. I had a playable build after six months. Thing is, though, it just wasn't fun. I realized the game needed to offer the players more of a sense of fun of creating their own adventures instead of being shoehorned through a linear story of my own telling. So, I put the game aside for a few years. When I regained the rights to Sword and Sanders, I decided that the game needed an overhaul. At the beginning of 2018, I fired it up again and rebranded it as Pirates. Adding in old favorites such as Heat Chaos and Belgrave and setting the game in Terratonia gave the game a real identity, finally. I'm really proud of the deep, strategic, and replayable experience you see before you. It's different than what I first set out to build, but game development is an intrinsically organic process. What's next for 2019, Sword and Sandals? There's a game book style text adventure app coming in autumn near as well as perhaps another smaller as yet unnamed SNS spin-off. Then of course the game you're all waiting for, and that's Sword and Sandals 6. Yes, it's happening, though I haven't written a line of code for it yet. I can how I promise you, things for the water brand are in 2019, 2020, and beyond. Ah. So obviously, I... 2019, we got Sword and Sandals Spartacus, I think. And then 2020, we obviously got, uh, eventually coming, in a few days, Sword and Sandals Crusader Redux. So, it's about a game a year, which I find quite quite impressive, to be fair. <laughs> it's like the Scott Caulfield of Sword and Sandals game. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know about the spin-off, though. Unless that is, um... Unless that's referencing Sword and Sandals uh, Spartacus, which it might be, to be entirely honest. Who knows? So yeah, I set up the official Risk of Studios YouTube channel. Each week I post tons of Sword and Sandals related videos, trivia, game dev advice, and even gameplay reviews. Please join me there and subscribe for all the latest news on your favorite Gladiator series. Many thanks, Ollie. So yeah, uh, I guess we'll do this a little shout out for anybody who wants to go and check it out for themselves. Uh, it's Whiskey Bar Studios on YouTube with Oliver Joyce. Uh, if you're interested in seeing how he code the games, some playthroughs of some other classic games out there here and there, go check it out. There's a subscribe button there. You can't press it, unfortunately, but you know the name, so go and check it out. Alright. And there we are for Swords and Sandals Pirates. Okay. Now, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a little end of thoughts review here. And then I'm going to end the video a bit earlier because I probably could go and get some rest. And maybe play some more Crash 4 because I haven't done that today. Which is weird. Okay, so. Let me just take a sip of my drink. And also take my hoodie off. Because it's getting a bit warm in here now. We'll talk about this. Okay. I still find enjoyment in Sword and Sandals Pirates. I still think it is a really enjoyable game. Uh, with the whole, the, the whole like, army structure of it, and the freedom of stuff you can do, it's all a really good idea, but the problems that start to arise a bit is when you feel that some things aren't ironed out properly. Um, the whole army combat is fine, I'd say. Um, it's obviously a little bit more refined in comparison to... Crusader, despite the fact you can't have a mount or a um, Colossus in this game, which kind of sucks. Obviously, they'll bring that back in Crusader Redux, which is great. But I like how your ranged troops can be used to like target specific groups of troops now, not just like randomly shoot. I think that's a really cool idea. And you know, even stuff like just being able to send. Oh, God, sorry. The fact that your captain can fight too, I find, is really cute too. Especially because they are stronger, but there's a risk of using them. That's a really cool idea. And would make plenty of sense that if they died, you would lose immediately. It would make too much sense. So, I like that. But then the problem comes to a few other things. For starters, there's the spells. Which, I think besides the cast lightning, there aren't many of them in this game that actually affect combat. So, regarding doing stuff like purchasing the raised dead spell or all these other upgrades we bought in Crusader... You can't do that this time around, which kind of sucks. Um, you can only buy the cast lightning spell to do some damage. And even then, I don't always find that useful because your opponent has free reign to target whatever troop they want. Because obviously you don't attack one of their troops. 
So in doing so, they could maybe attack your captain and kill you immediately in this, which is um, one issue I would have to say with the captain, which thankfully they are also sorting out in the Redux version because they're making it so you can actually choose to bring your captain out to the front line to attack with, but the risk is that if they die, obviously you lose. So there's a risk and reward situation, but you don't need to put your captain into danger at this point, which is really nice for that game, which I feel like this one could have absolutely used. Okay. Then we get to the ship combat. Um, this really needed some ironing out. Like, it's got the making of it being really good. But it's the problem that the balance is just so, so unbalanced. It's, um, the making of it is there. But the fact your crew are so vulnerable and can be one-shot by those sea monsters is just awful. Because they're expected to be beaten somehow. And I'm sure you could do. I'm sure that's absolutely possible. But... If your crew gets hit once, at least you're dead, as we saw from my example. Um, I don't know how, what the damage is like on Hull. I imagine it's still very similar, probably the same amount of damage, but you might be able to survive one hit, so there's always that. And, like, you can obviously move closer and further away from the opponent to get a better chance of shooting them, but also increasing your chance of being shot in return, which would make fighting them easier, but also hard at the same time. So the best bet in that sea monster fight is to stay back to keep shooting, uh, so obviously you have a less, you have a better chance to survive, although you give yourself less of a chance to hit, which is kind of the counter drawback. So I feel like that could have absolutely have been ironed out a bit. Maybe, maybe make it so crew doesn't immediately kill you, especially because you will always have one crew member. It will be your captain, and that should be enough, in my opinion, to let you win. Um, that could have probably been like, let's say for example, your strategy was to board the opponent's ship, which you can do by the way. That's an option. You can actually board the opponent's ship and then fight them in like a typical army battle if you want to. Which is why I think it would be cool if you could maybe use the cannons to kill their crew, then board their ship, so that when you fight them in the army battle, they have less crew. That would be a strategy. That would be a genuine strategy that would also work. And it wouldn't be unfair. Like, it's not just you shoot the crew and you win, you know? You'd actually have to board their ship to get the kill because there would probably be the captain left right and win that way that would just require you to do something else it would require you to push forward and get into range of your opponent's ship to board them so there is more incentive to do that you know there's more incentive to do that but currently it just it feels like it lacks balance because you can just shoot their crew and kill them almost immediately because most of them don't have many crew as well they have like five crew members or something you just shoot them and they're dead boom move on so yeah, the ship is a cool idea. I think it's a really cool concept. It just needed a lot of ironing out because it is just really unbalanced and is never some of the resort to for getting sandals and especially ocean hearts with those um those sea monsters. Um, what else do I need to talk about? I guess the last thing I could talk about is maybe some of the settings as well. If I go into the menu quickly, go to custom, right? So these are the settings we have. There is an option to turn off um, Ocean Guardians and Island Colossi, which I don't see why you want to do that because there is almost no way to get Ocean Hearts in this game besides random events. And they are like key. They are so important to get the win, as we've seen. Even with like five of them, like people are still getting more of me or like getting close to getting some more in some situations for doing stuff that I thought I did better in, but apparently didn't. So I find turning it off is kind of unnecessary. I like that you can change the item position to be random. That adds a bit more replayability. Which is good. The game length, I think, should always be 50 days. Because 20 days just does not give yourself enough, in my opinion. Especially 5 days. Jesus. Like, if you want the best game experience, you should play 50 days. Absolutely. Um, and then, the last thing is regarding that end bit we just saw. The Pirate Cancel itself. Now, for anyone who's played Mario Party, you probably may have looked at that and thought, This looks very similar. Because it's essentially like the bonus stars from Mario Party in this. And like, that could screw you over. I, I don't know if I like the idea that this luck-based aspect could potentially completely ruin your game at the end of it. If you didn't know or you didn't prioritize some of the aspects that you need to like do the best at. Get the most gold, get the most victories, and then obviously avoid the bad stuff. Like, don't kill the most crew members. Don't attack tribal chief warriors and all that kind of stuff. Like, especially 
when you play this game for the first time? Because I remember playing this, and despite the fact I think I saw some like advice, was that, I can't remember if there's a tutorial or not. I don't think there was. But I I did not know about Ocean Hearts. Even looking at Ollie's videos, I don't think I remember him talking about Ocean Hearts and anything I saw. I may have just not been paying attention. I don't know. But my point is, Ocean Hearts are so important. And I did not realize I had to go for them. So when I got to the end of the game, I thought I was doing so well. I had all these sandals. I attacked so many different places. I had so many islands taken under control. I thought I was doing really good. I get to the end. I skip for everything because I have no idea what the hell's going on. And I come sick from, like, first place. All because I didn't realize that I was losing um, ocean hearts because I somehow killed the most tribal chiefs because I didn't think that was any important to, like... I don't think there was any reason back then, I, I guess, to be friends with them. I thought I just wasted resources. And, most importantly, I didn't know that Ocean Hearts were a thing. And that these are the things given out at the end of those. The most valuable currency is given to people at the end of that. So, I say, I say this. I think that option should have been here. I think you should have been allowed to go into a custom game and turn that off. Because... Having a random event at the end completely screw you over, I don't think is very fun. Especially since your only reward in this is the story you get. Like, the, the story of the character you're playing as. Which gives you enough reason to play as every hero. The other thing I need to say is that every hero doesn't feel too different in my opinion. The only thing that's significantly different is that each of them start off with a different spell. Besides that, they all start off with an upgrade you can just get your first level up. So I don't find that so unique in a way. I think the only thing that changes them is really how they look, where they start, and the fact they have a spell to start with which is different than others. Because obviously, you need to actually work towards getting a spell. That's not something that's so easy to do. You actually have to work towards getting a mage tower and then the sandals to buy a spell. So, that bit I will forgive, but the other bits I just don't find any use of it. Um, but yeah, back to my original point. The whole idea that that chance time mechanism can screw you over is not fun. And the fact the game doesn't properly tell you that ocean hearts are a thing. And that you should be going for them. I think also kind of sucks. If anything, this whole mode. I'm, I'm pointing here to say like where it should go. Like oh, I'll just have an option like here or something. I don't know. But that whole option should have maybe given you um, sandals I think. Uh, that whole end game bit, if it's going to be there and it's forced to be there, it should have probably given the player sandals instead of Ocean Hearts. Because I feel like Ocean Hearts are a bit too big of a collectible to give them for something that's so out of place and out of nowhere. That you have to play the game through at least once to probably know they're a thing and how to get them. Because otherwise, no clue. I think when I played this, I had to, I did a, a Sentinel out of pure like intrigue because I had no idea what they were. And it just hurts to have to turn out that they were really important. So, I kept doing them. And that's about it. So, yeah. I guess the last thing to mention is that the game is a bit buggy here and there. Some stuff like textures don't clip in properly. We obviously saw the island that didn't register. I called it Pixel Island. Which is a giant square of pixelation mess. Uh, stuff like the boards on the side going white for no reason. That end credit where it was just white on the side for no reason. Um, various animations, like for some reason when your character shoot a gun, it starts off with an explosion effect, and then later on they lose it, it's just like a little pallet. Your captain, his win animation, his win animation becomes lying down on the floor dead, which is, I find that hilarious, but obviously it's not how the game's supposed to be intended. And also when the music decides not to play anymore too, it just completely cuts out. There are a few things that need to be ironed out, nothing game changing I would say. It's just all visual stuff here. So if if visual imp if like your visual importance isn't that big, if you can get around not having to worry about the fact the game doesn't look proper in this situation or this thing does not do what it's supposed to do and it just looks funny, if you're fine with that, then that's fine. This that shouldn't be a problem to you. But just figured I should mention it for the sake of it being something else to bring up. But besides that, I still think this is really good. I, I like the idea of it. It does a lot of stuff right. And it can be super enjoyable. You feel good about playing it when you build up your strategy, you build up your army, and you start taking out these sentinels left and right, and you fully take out every single competitor on the sea. That is generally really enjoyable. But I just think it needed a bit of ironing out. Um, I wouldn't say it was better than Crusader. I just feel like for what it did, it tried a lot different. So 
I say for what it did, it had a good shot at it, but it needs a little bit of ironing out. In comparison to Crusader, I don't think I can compare them too much, because both of them had a, a different structure regarding how they worked. So, yeah. That's all I've got to say. I don't want to give it for a rating, I won't bother about that, but... I still did enjoy going back to play this game and talk about it, and that's absolutely for certain. So, I guess now we wait until the 7th or the 9th, whichever day it is. I do, let me check. Just so I'm not guessing, I could probably just... I could just do a quick Google search to find out what the answer is. Or they'd be like, I think it comes out on this day, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know. Alright. The 9th. Okay, so it does come out on the 5th. Uh, the 5th or the Friday, sorry. <laughs> comes out on the 9th, which means it comes out on the 5th. No, I meant to say it comes out on the Friday. Which is the 5th day in the week, that's what I meant to say. Alright. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I will probably be streaming that on Twitch, for anyone who's curious. Uh, my reason being because... Uh, for anyone who, for anyone who's curious about what's going on with the channel, um, I'm gonna be taking a bit of a hiatus, essentially. After I've done, um, after I've done my last two videos, which are for the current three I've got scheduled, which will be the next Harson video, as well as the, um... Oh, what's the other video I was gonna do? Uh, oh, the Slutty Sun video, which I've got a lot of footage for, so I just need to put that together. After I've done those, I'm going to do a little update video saying what's going on, and then I'm going to be taking a hiatus until the end of the month to work on the, um, uh, the top five FNAF fan games video, because I still need to work on that. So, hope you guys all look forward to that when it comes out. I'll do another update for anyone who hasn't seen it here, and, um, yeah, uh, look forward to hearing more about it soon. But, until ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed. I've been Chaos, you've been able to influence, as you always are. Until it's time, remember the usual, uh, like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Maybe go follow me on Twitter uh, and stuff. I completely forgot my <laughs> outro. In case you don't know me by now, inconsistency is my quality. This various link description below to my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon, all that usual stuff. Most importantly, of all things, ladies and gentlemen, take care, everybody. Sayonara and good night. Oh, also Patreon list. Let me just <laughs> let me just shut it off quickly. I knew I was missing something. Big thank you to the Sass Jacket for throwing money at me for some random reason. Very much appreciated. And if you want to check Patreon, link's in the description, but I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> Alright, now I'm off. Take care, guys.